It could grow larger than a T-Rex and bite through anything it wanted to. The Cogarodontosaurus was one of the largest theropods to ever walk the earth. But what made this apex predator one of the deadliest hunters of all time? And why is it less famous than its iconic cousins? Around 100 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous, the largest meat-eating dinosaur in Earth's history, the Spinosaurus, emerged. A 16-meter-long giant weighing up to 2,000 kilograms. But people often forget that the Spinosaurus wasn't the only huge dinosaur roaming North Africa at this time. In 2008, a Spinosaurus vertebra was recovered, with part of the tall neural spine broken off. It appears to have been bitten in half, but what kind of animal could have been large enough or brave enough to even attempt such a thing on a monster like the Spinosaurus? It has been suggested that the bite may have been inflicted by a Cogarodontosaurus. This theropod was more terrifying and powerful than the Spinosaurus, and with teeth so deadly, it was named the Shark Tooth Lizard. Despite its fearsome reputation, the story of the Cogarodontosaurus was nearly lost to history. Multiple fossils were discovered in the early 1900s, but many of these were tragically lost during the bombing of Munich in World War II. For decades, this giant predator remained a mystery. It wasn't until new discoveries were made in 1995 and 2005 that scientists were finally able to piece together more of its story. So what made the shark tooth lizard capable of dominating North America alongside the spino? Using bone fragments, incomplete skulls, and teeth from two discovered species, paleontologists have been able to estimate its size and appearance. The larger of the two, the Cogarodontosaurus saharica, stood out with its massive frame. It was one of the largest predatory dinosaurs known, even larger than Tyrannosaurus rex. It is sometimes referred to as the African T-Rex, though the two dinosaurs are not related. It was capable of reaching up to 40 feet in length, with a hip height of nearly 12 feet, making it more than twice the height of the average human. Weighing anywhere between 6 and 15 tons, this dinosaur was truly massive. The Cagarodontosaurus had a surprisingly small brain. It wasn't always a giant. In its earlier stages, it was much smaller. However, when it grew in size and evolved over time, its brain remained relatively small. For reference, while the Cagarodontosaurus was larger than a T-Rex, its brain was only half of its size, suggesting it wasn't the smartest of dinosaurs. But intelligence wasn't necessary, when it could easily overpower and destroy almost any animal it encountered. While it didn't have the strongest bite among theropods, its bite force was estimated at around 3,000 pounds per square inch, much weaker than the T-Rex's devastating 12,800 PSI or the Spinosaurus's 4,200 PSI, but more than made up for this with a deadly adaptation its teeth. The Cagarodontosaurus's jaws were lined with about 60 razor-sharp, jagged teeth to tear apart both flesh and bone, bearing a resemblance to the dentition of sharks. These teeth, similar to the blades of a steak knife, were perfect for ripping through the flesh of its prey. With every bite, it could carve deep wounds, allowing its victims to bleed out quickly. The teeth were sharp enough to slice through tough hides and even bone, making them a crucial part of this predator's hunting strategy. Though the Cagarodontosaurus had a weaker bite compared to other large predators, it had a few other traits that made it a deadly hunter. It was surprisingly fast for its size, with some estimates suggesting it could run up to 20 miles per hour. These calculations come from fossilized footprints found near where the Cagarodontosaurus saharicus remains were discovered. Preserved lung tissue on the fossils also revealed air sacs similar to those found in modern birds. This unique feature allowed the Cogarodontosaurus to take in more oxygen with each breath, helping it run longer and faster in the pursuit of prey. This is unlike the T-Rex, which evolved to rely almost entirely on its bite. The Cogarodontosaurus had a more versatile hunting approach. Further research into this creature's hunting techniques suggests it was most likely an ambush predator. We can infer this by examining the skull, particularly its tall, narrow snout and its laterally facing eyes. These features restrict binocular vision to a region of approximately 20 degrees wide, comparable to that of modern crocodiles. This is a common trait in ambush predators. The limited binocular vision would have been helpful for focusing on prey and judging distances, allowing precise timing when launching an attack. With its powerful legs, the Cagarodontosaurus could quickly close the gap once it was within range, relying on speed for the final chase. But it wasn't just its legs that made this apex predator so dangerous. Another surprising advantage lay in its arms. While huge theropods, especially the T-Rex, are famous for their tiny and seemingly useless arms, the Cagarantontosaurus' arms were different. 
Its arms were longer compared to the T-Rex, equipped with three long sharp claws at the end of its fingers as opposed to the T-Rex's two. These upper limbs were also packed with muscle. It's believed that these limbs were primarily used to grapple with large prey, either to hold it in place or to inflict deep slashing wounds. Digital models and simulations have shown that the Kagarodontosaurus could have used its muscular arms to lift prey, with estimates suggesting it could successfully lift a maximum body mass of 850 kilograms, heavier than a fully grown adult male grizzly bear. Once within range of its target, the Kagarodontosaurus would have deployed its devastating shark-like bite to cut deep into its prey, causing massive damage and significant blood loss. After landing a deadly bite, it would likely not waste energy on further attacks. Instead, it would simply follow its prey, waiting for it to bleed to death. With this hunting strategy, the Kagarodontosaurus could kill massive prey without the need for an intense struggle. This was an efficient killing method that it had mastered, and it was completely different from the hunting style of the Spinosaurus, which specialized in wetlands and rivers. This huge difference in hunting environments is likely the key reasons these two giants could thrive alongside each other. North Africa had two deadly killers, but by exploiting different environments, they did not have to compete with one another to coexist. This was likely good news for the Spinosaurus, which primarily fed on fish and smaller animals. While the Spinosaurus had the advantage in size and weight, the Kagarodontosaurus more than made up for it with its aggressive and powerful hunting style. Earlier we mentioned a Spinosaurus vertebra was found in 2008, with its neural spine bitten in half. While we may never know for sure what caused this injury, it's clear that the Kagarodontosaurus was more than capable of causing this damage. With its powerful jaws, shark-like teeth, and unique hunting strategies, it's easy to see how it could have stood up to the mighty Spinosaurus. If the two ever crossed paths, the outcome likely depended on where they met. In the water, Spinosaurus would have had the clear advantage, but on land, Kagarodontosaurus was faster, more agile, and its deadly hunting techniques would have made it a dominant force. Even though the Kagarodontosaurus was one of the largest and deadliest theropods, it wasn't immune to extinction. Long before any asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs, both the Kagarodontosaurus and Spinosaurus vanished. But why? Around 94 million years ago, the world changed. Rising sea levels, global warming, and volcanic activity altered habitats dramatically. These shifts didn't just affect the oceans. On land, they separated large populations of the Kagarodontosaurus and introduced smaller, faster predators that outcompeted them for food. For the Spinosaurus situation, it was even worse. As swamps and rivers dried up, its specialized hunting techniques became useless. With fewer resources and increasing competition, even the largest carnivores could not survive. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and check out another one of our deep dives into a fascinating apex predator.